there's a little girl with the hat on too. Oh, where is she? See, where there she is, right there. Right there in the middle. At? Oh my gosh, look at her. hi Ahsoka. Stinking oh, adorable. Wow. You all look amazing. Well, welcome to Dallas. Oh, we're gosh, super excited to have you. you here. What a way to kick off, you yeah. know, Dallas Fan Expo. This is awesome. 102 degree heat in Star Wars. So, guys, go ahead and line up. And before we start with the audience, I was just going to ask if you wanted to tell us a little bit about your new book, in case they don't know. Oh, yes, yes. So I just announced that um, I got to write a book called Star Wars Every Day. And it's on pre-order now, but it comes out October 25th. And it's a Star Wars lifestyle book. So it's a year's worth of Star Wars mindfulness activities, recipes, crafts, um, home activities, and you know, it's broken out by month, and every month has a theme, a theme from Star Wars, and um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just surreal, because I once said I would never write a book, so I'll tell you what, if you all have a dream out there, and you say that it's never possible, um, the fact that I'm up here talking about a book that I wrote uh, proves that anything is possible. <laughs> So, but um, thank you. It'll be, it'll make a nice, uh, like, holiday gift. I think you also have a new video series for kids. Yes, this is something yes. I'm very, very proud of. It's called Star Wars Mindful Matters. Has anyone seen the videos yet? Oh, thank you. Thank you. So I've posted them to my personal Instagram page, which is just at Ashley Eckstein. Um, it's also on StarWarsKids.com and the Star Wars Kids YouTube channel. I want to stress that these videos are not just for kids. We put them on the kids page to show parents and teachers and guardians that the videos are safe and appropriate for kids, but they're for everyone. And the series is called Star Wars Mindful Matters. They're two to three minute um, little videos where you learn a Star Wars lesson uh, and it's paired with a clinically based uh, mindfulness exercise. Um, and so, you know, Yoda teaches us that a Jedi must have the deepest commitment, the most serious mind. Teaching us that training our mind is just as important as physically training our body. And I'm a huge advocate for mental health and mental health awareness. And some of the greatest lessons in Star Wars are actually the lessons of the mind. You know, Luke Skywalker teaches Rey that confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. And right now, especially after the two years that we've been through, we all need to be talking about our mental health now more than ever. And so these videos are simple. You know, it'll only take you a minute to do these, but they'll make a powerful difference in your day. So it's lessons of deep breathing, lessons of grounding, lessons of confronting fear, and they're appropriate for all ages. So check out Star Wars Mindful Matters, and I do them. This isn't something that, you know, I thought of and thought, well, this sounds like a good idea, but then I don't do. No, I actually do them every day. And they practice really what make, you preach. Yeah, I practice what I preach, and um, this series has been a dream of mine for really the past five years. Uh, so thrilled that we're finally able to make it happen. Um, as someone who struggles a lot with their mental health, I just wanted to ask you, what do you think Ahsoka learned herself throughout her journey within like the Clone Wars and then her life throughout? Like, what do you think is the thing that she holds most dear, the lesson that she learned, and like, is it most important to her? Oh gosh, that is a fantastic question. Thank you so much for asking it. First of all, what's your name? Uh, Teddy. Teddy, nice to meet you, Teddy. You know, I I learned over time. You know, because Ahsoka is such a powerful character. I mean, you watch her with the lightsaber. She's incredibly fierce. Um, you know, she can face Vader uh, like none other. Um, but the past couple of years, I really went on a journey to kind of discover what makes Ahsoka so powerful. And the answer I came to is that Ahsoka's power comes from her kindness. Kindness is powerful. And Ahsoka says in the final season of Clone Wars, she says, in my life, when you find people who need your help, you help them, no matter what. I guess it's just who I am. And thank you. Me so much. I mean, when I say I want to 
want to be a real life version of Ahsoka. I wake up every single day and I strive to be that. I strive to be a real life version of Ahsoka. I ask myself all the time, what would Ahsoka do? And it always comes back to she would help others no matter what. She would be kind. She would treat others as she would want to be treated. And, you know, I once asked Dave Filoni, I, I said, why me? Why, why did you pick me? What, what was it? And he did say, he said, you know, Ashley, you're genuine. And Ahsoka is genuine. And so I think Ahsoka in everything she does, throughout the entire series, she's genuine about it. She genuinely cares, she genuinely tries, she genuinely helps, she genuinely wants to do what, what, she, what she does. I mean, she literally puts her heart and her soul into everything. And so, um, so yeah, I, I hope that answers your question. I, does Thank it? Thank you so much, it does. Okay, Thank you so much, Teddy, it's a great question. Um, so my family has this theory that Ahsoka throughout Clone Wars knew that Anakin and Padme had the little thing they had going on, you know. Do you agree with that? Do you have any info for us? Um, I, in my opinion, yes. And this is, y'all, this is not canon. <laughs> I don't want Dave Filoni coming after me saying, Eckstein, what are you doing? But in my opinion, I think she, she did, and for two reasons. So uh, you go back to the, fi uh, the season five finale, where uh, Anakin says, Ahsoka, I understand more than you know. And Ahsoka says, I know. And to me, that I know was saying, I know about you and Padme. <laughs> That's just my opinion. And then it's been a while since I watched it, but and because a lot of people wrote it off as this kid's thing. But go back to Forces of Destiny. It should still be on YouTube. And there is a short about Anakin, Ahsoka, and Padme that to me pretty much gives, gives it away that she knows about it. So y'all go back and watch Forces of Destiny. I think this it really got buried. A lot of people didn't see it. But there was some really good intel in there. So I agree with you. I think so. Um, my question, I actually have two questions. Um, what are your thoughts about the live action Ahsoka? And would you consider making a cameo in the upcoming Ahsoka spinoff? Oh, well, first of all, I am just thrilled that Ahsoka is getting so much love and so much attention, and she's getting her own series. I mean, I think it's absolutely incredible. So. Please know I always celebrate everything with Ahsoka and any new story and my one dream for Ahsoka because Ahsoka unites people. You know, she's kind of this one character that you take the Star Wars universe and even though she started out where she had her haters, now she's like this character that the entire Star Wars universe universally agrees on that she's awesome. <laughs> and I, I always want that. I always want everything with Ahsoka to be celebrated. So in terms of the live action Ahsoka, I think it's great and I celebrate all, uh, all Ahsoka stories. Um, in terms of getting to do a cameo, I have not done a cameo yet, but I would love to. It would be uh, you know, an absolute dream. I, I talk about throwing your dreams out to the universe and um, you know, it's the first step in making them happen. So it would be a dream come true if I got to do a cameo or play a role in the live action Star Wars series. So um, hopefully one day, it hasn't happened yet, but hopefully one day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I think we as fans just need you and Rosario Dawson together I, on a stage, because you've never met her, correct? No, we've never met. Yeah. Um, but I would love to. I'm definitely, um, like I said, Put it out in the universe, and Sweet. I have hopes that we'll get to meet someday soon, and and get to um, get to do a scene or something together. It would be an absolute dream come true. Dynamic duo. Good luck for more awesome Star Wars. Uh, 